people of Reddit, what was your I'm dating a fucking idiot moment? We drove past a windmill on a windy day. She commented how it was too windy out and they should turn the windmill down. She was dead serious. She would always ignore the idiot lights in her cars until they broke down. We bought a car that actually tells you when to bring it in for service. She came up to me, really frustrated, complaining about the car being noisy. She said, there's this big flashing message that says bring auto in for service and I can't get it to turn off. What should I do? This person has a PhD too. Sometimes the smartest person in the room and the person who forgot to put on pants are the same person. One of the most interesting things my cousin and his wife explained to me, both of who have PhDs, was that having a PhD is not an indicator that you are smart. It is an indicator that you are willing to work fucking hard for several years to achieve a singular goal. You can do that without a vast amount of intellect, they assured me, as they knew many who were not that bright. I don't know how true it is, but really made me think kept telling me not to fall for online scams. She fell for a scam that was so clearly a scam, even a brain-dead monkey could see it was a scam. She lost $15,000 and tried to sue everyone who told her it was a scam. She also thought that when the chefs light the food on fire, they add gasoline. She tried to do just that. When I mentioned I was on my period, he asked what my favorite flavor of tampons are. He genuinely thought the colors on the tampon packs were flavors and that it would soak into my blood while inside and I'd eventually taste it. I'm desperate to know the source of this information. Okay, but I legit did the garlic clove inserted for a yeast infection remedy once. The remedy warned that you might get a garlicky taste in your mouth, which I thought was the most hilarious bullshit until about five hours later when I started to taste garlic. You can get the same effect rubbing garlic on your feet, apparently. Edit. The garlic taste, I mean. Not a yeast infection fix. It also works if you put the garlic in your mouth. He didn't know where the ankle was. I hurt my ankle when he dropped me, on accident, and he went to look at it and said it looked fine as he was touching my calf. I was like, well, yeah, because that's not my ankle. Silence. Then arguing about how it was my ankle, and me telling him it was my leg, not my ankle, and having to explain what an ankle was. She was late 30s and thought all bluebirds were boys and all robins are girls. Because that's how it always is in cartoons. And pit bulls are boys and poodles are girls. When she asked, how long does it take for a boy to grow a new testicle after intercourse? Damn, that's a whole new level of busting a nut. Dating this gal and we go out on a double date. She's kind of goofy, but more lacking common sense versus like dumb as a box of rocks until that night. So double date is BBQ, we all order. She gets ribs, so we are eating. And she says, what part of the cow is this from? We chuckle. She stares at us all, her sister included, and says, did you not hear me? What part of the cow does this come from? We, in unison, say, ribs. She responded, I know the name from the menu, but what part of the cow is it? I was done. We went to a science museum and saw a display of a carboniferous swamp, and I casually remarked that the land would have been different back then due to plate tectonics. She had never heard that the continents moved, so I explained how it worked with plates moving, earthquakes, and volcanoes. She still didn't believe me, so I found the plate tectonics museum display that explained it all. And then she said she was amazed that I had enough pull with the museum to have them set up a display to support my lies. This museum sits on a moving plate of lies girl in high school believed that dinosaur bones were put there by pagans to lead the Christians astray. She was visibly upset, tears and quiet sobs, while we were watching District 9. She turns to me and whispers, when did this happen? As in, the mistreatment of space aliens actually happened. She didn't know the difference between a country and a continent. Turned down multiple pay rises, promotions because it would put her in the next tax bracket. She, and backed up by to her idiot parents, believed she would be earning a lot less due to the higher tax over the whole amount. I tried to explain, but she was very determined to be an idiot forever. Even going as far as saying she wouldn't get any help from welfare if she kept earning trash for life. The moment she attempted to call a dog into her car to get it out of the rain. Dog is equal to a fox with rabies. When he told me that God put different races on different continents to avoid mixed race breeding, and that the cause of all physical and mental disease is mixed race relationships, we wouldn't have diseases if everyone stayed on their own continents. I swear, I didn't know he was a racist's piece of shit before that lol. My ex once went to a halal butcher and asked for bacon. Just in case you don't know, pork is non-halal. The same ex was offered beef bacon by the butcher, then, to be healthier, tried to fry it in water. What she ended up serving me was grayish parboiled beef bacon with the texture and toughness of warm spandex. Bless her innocent heart. 
Not a bad way, but a she's my idiot way. A friend says, do either of you remember the name of the rat from Ninja Turtles? My girlfriend says, Ratatouille, been dating her for a long time. What was your I'm dating a fucking idiot moment? Share your experience in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel to see more life stories.